Now, students, in today's lecture, we are going to study another polymeric drug that is physostatin. So, physostatin is basically a drug which has plant origin. That is, this is a drug with natural source. So, the source of the drug is physostigma venonosa. Basically, the calibre beads of the drug of the plant are used as a source of the agent, as a source of physostigma. So, the basic source of physostigma are the calibre beads. Physostigmine is basically a nitrogenous carbamic acid as well. It is found in plants. It is basically a tertiary amine. As I'm using the word tertiary amine, it means this is a drug which has ability to cross the blood brain barrier and produce effects which are related to CNS. So, what is the mode of action of the drug? This is a drug which binds itself reversibly to the enzyme that is acetylcholine esterase. Now, thus it will make a stable carbon molecule intermediate with the enzyme. Now, we have complex of the drug with the enzyme. Now, this drug will inhibit the enzyme. As a result, there will be increase in level of the neurotransmitter that is acetylcholine. Now, basically, this drug is a reversible inactivator of the uh, enzyme that is acetylcholine esterase. So, the result is enhanced activity of the polyenergic neurotransmitter that is acetylcholine throughout the body. Now, what are the actions of the drug? So, as this drug is indirectly increasing the level of acetylcholine, so it is ability to stimulate muscarinic and nicotinic receptor of ANS. Secondly, it has ability to activate the nicotinic receptors of the neuromuscular junction as well. So, the drug has duration of action from about 30 minutes to 2 hours. This is an intermediate acting agent. It is a tertiary amine, so it has ability to cross the blood brain barrier, enters the CNS, and stimulate the cholinergic receptors which are present in CNS. The other effects which are related to the drug are contraction of the visceral smooth muscles, particularly related to epidural myosis, hypotension, and bradycardia. So, what are the therapeutic uses of the drug? Therapeutic uses of the drug use in case intestinal and bladder motility. So, it can be used in atony of either organs, that is of the intestine or of the bladder. Secondly, the overdose of the drug, it is used as an agent. It is used as a useful agent in the treatment of the overdose of the drug, that is atrophy. So, what are the adverse effects? Definitely, it has ability to cause CNS. So, this drug may cause convulsions when at high doses. Secondly, it may cause bradycardia. That is, for, uh, it may also cause fall in the cardiac output. Thirdly, this is inhibitor of acetylcholine esterase at neuromuscular junction. That is, at the skeletal muscles. So, it may cause accumulation of acetylcholine there. This Ultimately, it has ability to cause paralysis of the skeletal muscle. So, this was all about the drug. This was all about the mechanism of the drug, therapeutic uses of the drug and the adverse effect of the drug.